Hi guys, hope you're doing great. Our today's question is best time to buy and sell stock with cooldown. So the question says, say you have an array for which the ith element is the price of a given stock on day i. Design an algorithm to find the maximum profit. You may complete as many transactions as you like, that is buy one and sell one share of the stock multiple times with the following restrictions. You may not engage in multiple transactions at the same time, that is you must sell the stock before you buy again. After you sell your stock, you cannot buy stock on the next day. That is, there is a cool down period of one day. So, for example, here, if we buy a stock on day one at price one and sell it on day two at price two, then we have to wait, right? We cannot do any transactions on the day three when the price is three. And we can only do any transaction on zero because three would be the cool down day in that case. And let's say if we buy it at one and sell it at three, then zero would be the cool down day. So whenever you are completing a transaction, you, you basically have to wait for one day to do any other transaction. And the standard uh, other restriction that we can all, always possess only one stock at a time not more than that so you always have to sell a stock before you can buy it again okay so i hope the question is clear and we would be using dynamic programming to solve this uh, the logic is pretty simple that for any day we can have two possibilities we can either have a stock on that day or we have no stocks on that day so we would just use a dynamic programming array to build up the solution with these values and derive the final answer. So let's discuss the logic first. Okay. So we'll have a um, two-dimensional array because we only have two possibilities. Either we have a stock on that day or we have no stock on that day. So this would be two because of these two possibilities and we'll have the length same as the length of prices. Okay. Now, um, we can have the first case, as I was saying, that we have a stock on day i, okay? Which we represent by dp of i, dp of i1, okay? Case two, is that we have no stock on day i, right? We represent that by dp of i zero, okay? So if we have a stock on a particular day, then there are two possibilities that I bought it today, okay? Or I am carry forwarding. What this means is that if I have a stock today with me, if I possess a stock, then either I purchased it today or I purchased it at some other day in the past and I'm just carrying that forward, right? I have not sold it yet, okay? And the other case, when we have no stock, then it means that either I sold it today, right? Or I'm carry forwarding and I'm doing nothing, right? I'm not doing anything. Okay, so these are the four possibilities, right? Um, now, if I bought it today, then the value that we need to use would be, so if I'm buying it today, then I could not have had sold it yesterday because I have this cool down restriction, right? So the price or the DP of I minus two, right? Because I minus one is my cool down day if I'm, if I'm buying it today. So I minus two, and since I'm buying it today, I must have sold it on that day. So I'll use the I minus two of zero, which is no stock on that day value, right? And since I'm buying it today, I'll be paying the price. So minus the price of I. So it's basically 
we skip the cool down day, go to I minus 2 of 0, no stocks on that day, minus prices of I because I'm paying the amount today, right? And if I'm just carry forwarding, then I am just going to use TP of I minus 1. So then we don't need to follow any um, cool down restrictions. If I'm carry forwarding, then yesterday I had a stock. Today I have the same stock. So I'm just going to use the value for possessing a stock from yesterday. Okay. Now, this would be max of the below. Okay. Let's talk about DP of I zero, right? So I don't have a stock today, so I sold it today. Now that would be so if I'm selling it today, then I must have bought it either yesterday or some other point in time before that, which is being carried till yesterday, right? So if I'm selling it today, then I can safely say that I minus one of one, that is I was possessing a stock yesterday. So that value plus the price of today, because I'm selling it. So I would be getting that much money by selling it out today, right? Or if I'm just carrying forwarding, doing nothing, then I just have the stock from yesterday and I'll just use the same value. Oh, sorry, zero. Yeah, right. So this will be the max of the below as well. Okay, so based on this, let's move to the solution. So let's just get the length. Length is prices dot length. Okay, if length is less than equals to zero okay or rather one because if we have just one price we cannot do anything with it then we'll just return a zero right otherwise um we just want to so so when we start building up this db array we we need two elements in it already because of this right we'll be using i minus two so we need to have two elements already in it so we'll figure out the, the two elements first. So now let's check that if um, the length is equal or equal to two, right? So if we have two, only two days, right? Uh, sorry, and prices of one, right? is greater than prices of zero. Okay, so then that makes for us a combination of two days where we, I can buy on um, day zero and sell on day one. So in that case, we'll just, we'll just return their difference because that's the maximum profit we can make, right? Else, we just want to check that else if length equal equal to two, right? Um, and then obviously prices of zero, okay? And okay, and prices of zero is greater than prices of one, okay? Then we can do nothing and we just have to return a zero. Okay, so this makes for our base conditions and now we can be sure that there are more than two elements in the array, right? So we'll just first build up the zero and the, the day zero and the day one values and then we'll just start with the array. So dp of day zero, zero. So on day zero, we have nothing. So it will be zero, right? And on day zero, if I have a stock, then it means I purchased it on that very day. So I'll just be assigning prices of negative of prices of zero. Now on day one, if I have no stocks, 
right? Then it means that either I did not purchase anything yesterday, right? And I'm just carrying forward that value, so dp of 0, 0, which is 0 basically, or, okay, so, or I sold it today, right, as we've written it here. So if I sold it today, then we'll just say that, okay, then dp of 0 of 1, uh, plus prices of one. Okay. And if I have a stop on day one, then it would be math dot max of dp. So if I have it today, then then these are the two possibilities, right? But in this case, we don't have this i minus two thing, so. If I have it today, then there are two, two options. I purchased it today, right? Or I'm just carrying forward the one from yesterday, the purchased one from yesterday. So we'll just mention this. Or if I purchased it today, then dp of 0, 0 minus prices of 1. Okay. So this basically is zero. We know that this is zero. We know that this is zero. So it will basically evaluate down to these values. Okay. So now with this, let's write our for loop. Uh, oops, we forgot declaring. Okay. So we just declare dp equals to new int len. Okay. Now, let's start from 2, i less than length, i plus plus, okay? And just, we'll just be applying this formula that we have calculated above. So, dp of i0 equals to max of, yeah. So, max of dp i minus 1, 0 comma dp of i minus 1 1 plus prices prices of i okay i minus 1 0 and i minus 1 1 plus prices of i and the dp of i 1 is equals to math dot max of the formula above okay so dp of okay let's just copy this yeah so i did a simple carry forward dp of i minus one one right so dp of i minus one one or this so this will get evaluated and then at the end at, at the last day we want to share the or return the value when we should not have any owned stocks so we'll just say that okay just return dp of len minus one the last day without any stocks value right because we don't want to end this streak without with having or holding a stock with us on the day last day right so uh, this is this is the entire code let's see if this works cool that works let's try submitting cool so, hope you guys find this video helpful. If you do, please like, share and subscribe. Keep coding and take care guys.